What's up guys, this is James First, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin 2 last time. We explored a lot of the perplexing pool and got here into Glenn's Kitchen, the second sub-level, and today we're going to be going further into Glenn's Kitchen, probably... Well, we already lost one Pikmin so far, but this dungeon's a bit different from other ones since... Funny enough, um, we'll get into it a little bit. Come here. Come here, yeller. Uh, case in point, we have a new enemy here, the Breadbug. The Breadbug is a uh, interesting enemy, you'll see here in a second. As you can see, it's gonna grab carcasses and take them back to their nest, which is what these things are. So, I recommend just killing enemies and when you see them, just grab the enemy and take it back to its nest, so that it'll kill it quicker. Alright, we got this guy here. Alright, nice. Uh, let's get you on that. And let's grab the other treasure. Alright, come on. Pointer, work with me. I should be able to get that, right? Is this one of those instances where it's in... No? What? Maybe I need to be up here in order for it to actually work. Because that's stupid if it is. <laughs> Alright. Oh hey, it appears in the cutscene! Squirt. I don't actually remember this treasure, treasure name. Happiness element, and it's walking off screen, that's funny. Um... Uh, why not? We could kill it here so it doesn't bother us anymore. Come on. There we go, nice. And killing one of the bread bugs. Uh, it's not on screen, so... Fine. Uh, it destroyed its nest, so any, uh... Any, like, carcasses and treasures in it will... Okay, uh, case of point, there's one right there. <laughs> Alright, now let me see if the Pikmin... There we go, nice. There are some times where the treasures will be, uh... In hard-to-reach places, so, yeah. Be, wa be wary of that, but other than that... Not too bad. One purple died so far, so... Hopefully that'll be the only death in this dungeon. Alright, uh, okay, good. Now, is this the last dungeon? Or the last, not, yes, the last dungeon. The last, uh, treasure on this board. Imperative Cookie, okay. Hey, nice! Getting through this pretty quickly. I don't mind short floors. And sub level three, nice. Uh, is this? Ooh. Okay, this might not be the floor I'm thinking of, but there's a floor on here that's. And not just because of these electrical hazards. There's actually something else on this floor that's very jerkish. Or, I don't think it's on this floor, but somewhere in this dungeon. I don't need to worry about you yet. At least, not yet. Oof. Make sure I don't throw any uh, other yellows. Or non yellows. Get rid of these. And we have a new enemy over there. Uh, and yeah, why not? We'll just let it be. I kind of wish it would get shot by the, uh, Anna Beatles. But uh, over there we have a new enemy. This is a Puffy Blowhog, uh, enemy from the first game. These guys do a whole wider range. Get out of there, get out of there, guys. I can't believe they do that on us two traps. Uh, let's get my Pikmin now away from it. At least away from those Anna Beatles. 
think it is. It has a treasure, so we don't need to worry about it too much. Alright, come here, you two. And... Alright, fine. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Get on that spin and attack it. Attack it like there's no tomorrow. Nice, there we go. Oh, no, no. Get over here, white. My whitey white. Now, it doesn't look like there's anything over there, so... I think we're just good to go along. You. I believe there might be another puppy blowhog, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, just a bunch of more anode noodles. And are they? Yep, they're mating as usual. Attack! Kill it! Destroy mayhem! <laughs> and why are you hey, uh, stuck over there? Fine, I'll get rid of you too, I guess. Uh, funny enough about, about the bread beetles, they could actually carry their own uh, carcasses. Sorry about that. Of the same species, it's kind of morbid and cannibalistic. Was there a trap? Okay, good, that wasn't. Alright, we're gonna take this compass. Apparently it's too big for the bread bugs to carry. And, hey, no, 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 no. Even though I don't usually like carrying enemies back uh, for these bread bugs, we might have to. Since one of them took one of the treasures. And... Wow. The bread bug isn't even cupsy. Hey, it's actually broken. That's interesting. Director of Destiny. Alright. Let's kill you. So I may hopefully get the other treasure. Since, funny enough, both of the bread bugs that are, uh, nests are right next to each other. Okay, no, it's in the other one. So, where is it? It's stuck over here. Alright, come on, guys. Come on. Come on now, don't get stuck. Sure, let's just kill it. It makes like a weird sound when it gets hit. And it's just gonna stay there, isn't it, until it's dead. Or until I throw my pick on the floor, whichever comes first. Come on. One more. There we go, nice. Oh, it couldn't climb in. That's why. Alright. Let's go grab that other treasure, and I think that's the last one here on this floor. We don't have to carry this xylophone back. It would be actually kind of cool to grab it, but... Eh. You would have to do the same for all these blocks, and I doubt the ship wants to go through all of this. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Get away from that. You and oh, that was quick. Okay, what are you? Clacker, clacker. Harmonic synthesizer. Okay, yay! That's the last treasure. We could continue on. Now I think it's the fourth sublevel. I'm pretty sure it is. I know this place doesn't have that many sublevels, but there's one, or actually two, that I don't really like. <laughs> And they're both in this one! Hooray! Uh... Okay, oh no, it's this one, okay. This one, you want to be careful, because... Not only are there dwarf ball bears, but also... Shoot, 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 shoot! Kill it, 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 kill it! That is, uh... Jesus Christ! Here! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Jesus, how many did we lose? Lost like four or three. <laughs> it's being in the cutscene. Yoo-hoo! Okay. I got scared there because... Oh no, we lost like four Pikmin. What did we lose? It wasn't a white for sure. 
Oh, well, it's just reds. That's fine. They're in this thing. Okay. Uh, okay. I need to talk about that. That is, uh... Spotty Bull Bear. Those things suck. I know, yes. How They're patrolling the floors now. We didn't see it above ground yet, but they're only up underground. And, believe it or not... Even though, uh... Oh, actually, we're gonna witness it here. Yeah, they carry their own brethren, I know, how... <laughs> it's so morbid, these guys. But yeah, um, if you kill it, it will come back to life after a while. I know, they're jerks, so you have to carry it to the ship as fast as possible. Okay. No, oh, they don't really have anything, okay. Let's grab you. And I believe there's one more other treasure on this floor. Yeah, I know these tri I know these uh floors by heart. Luckily there are no other roaming bull bears, but hey. Let's get this cake. It's candy. Candy candy. Candy con. Okay, we have both the treasures coming back and we have already you. That's actually pretty interesting how it's outside of the field. Uh, let me see how far you can throw a Pikmin. I wonder if it'll go out of bounds. I kind of want to see if, like, someone could go past it and see what's there. Eh, it's fine. I got a cup over here. Cup. Mug. Invigorator. And what are you now? You look sweet enough to eat. Is it in a name? My goodness. Alright, nice. Delve deeper. And I believe there's only two floors left. If I'm not mistaken, that is. Yeah, I believe there's only two floors. Uh, this one's kind of a dickish floor, as you can see there. We have armored cannon larva. Okay, got to kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it before it kills all my purples. Okay, good. I saw one over here, I think. Really? Must have been just a ship. Alright, I'll take it. Uh, I got a violet can you pop here. I could use some more purples. Especially since I've been... Wow. I miss every shot. There we go. Nice. Much better. Much, much better. Lucky pluck pluck. Mm -hmm. Come on. There we go. Now, this floor... Sucks also because there's a bunch of uh, armored cannon larva here. But also, also I think that's about it. They're usually hiding in these alcoves over here. Right? Where did I get that name from? I couldn't really think of it. Oh no 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 no! Oh shoot 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 shoot! Okay, I'm. I gotta restart. Okay, back here, uh, minus saw uh, purple set gun. A lot of bulbers here. Let's just get rid of these guys. Hey, okay, come on. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Nicey, nice, nice. I... That, I only, it only was four purples, but... I need purples. You need a lot of purples in this game. And did I get all five shots? Yay, I did. Awesome. Alright. I'm so happy about getting cripples, because I love cripples. They're awesome. They're OP, but they're awesome. Okay. Alright, let's go over here where this mess is heading. Why are the treasure sets be all guarded by a buttload of enemies? Why can't they just be in nice places? Okay. Oh shoot. 
Oh, thank god that... Thank god that was there. Uh, actually... That could be a good distraction. Unless it, like, somehow... Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. There we go, nice. Now I hope there's not, like, any, like... Okay, there's like a bunch more. Um, actually... Okay, good. I know there was one here. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay, nice! Now, let's get rid of the last one. If there's no last one, that's fine. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Alright. Kill you. And... Okay, got that out of the way. Got this giant treasure over here. Probably the biggest treasure we've ever seen. Got both of them going back, and I think those are the only two, so I'm gonna see you guys when it goes to the ship. Treasure numero uno? Boom cone! And for the other treasure, looks so big there, but then it's like super small here, I know. Soaking antenna. Alright. That's it for that. Let's go down. And if I'm not mistaken, this should be the final floor. So we might as well just go for it. Finish it off. Yes it is! Nice! Okay. It's like super bright here. So we're just gonna do it right now. Um... Meet the boss! Yeah, I know. The giant bread bug. Thank god it doesn't like eat Pikmin unless it takes underground, which, yes, it can happen. Uh, advice here. Get, like, enemies, like, dead zeros as soon as possible. So that it'll just take it back to its base, and everything will be good. Come on, there we go, nice. Um, let's get our yellows in back. Whoa, that was... it like flew all the way there. Alright. Okay, I only have lights on there, that's fine. It's already halfway dead. I know, how vigorating. Yeah, I know this is a wonderful boss fight. Um, if I can show how it looks. Oh. Well, there we go. Treasure! Meet of Champions. So, I have a ton more to go and a ton of more, uh, bread books to take care of. Uh, fun fact about bread books. They are, I believe, related to the ball boards. They are the same part of the Grub Dog family, I'm pretty sure. We might look into their bio later. You just smash the A button on these enemies because trust me, it's gonna be a lot easier in the long run. And yes, I have to show it off. Watch this. Okay, it's not gonna do it. Uh, let's get it back as quickly as possible. Uh, they actually might die. Well, at least your brother is carrying you. I don't know if that's worse or better than your father. Two for the price of one! Double kill. Oh, dang it! Alright, fine. Only one kill. Form a circle around the deodorant. Processing? How bizarre. An item appears to have fallen out of that freakish creature. It must have been a greedy beast to swallow something like this. Oh yes, that's the guy that's always like, treasure, treasure, money, money, money. 
Maybe even get the treasure. Okay. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Alright. Let's get this. Dream material. Oh, trust me, this is a dream come true, alright. We got deodorant now. We won't stink. This intriguing material does not conduct electricity. It is far more advanced than the material I was researching. How frustrating. A space you made from this wonder alloy would insulate the wear from electric shocks. Excellent. This new material has allowed me to complete my ele anti electrifier. It is my own invention! With only the smallest iota. Oh, it actually. S <laughs> of outside inspiration. I have reconfigured your suits with this new material. They will now protect you from electricity. Now we are immune to small electrical attacks. Nice. I say small loosely. Yeah, it doesn't really matter anyway. Let's get treasure! It's food! I love me food. Do not go through the electrical. I cannot. Oh no! Mm. Can't believe they went through it. That was so sad to see. And yeah, we got a donut. Sweet dreamer. And as you can see. Oh. Well, after we get this rotten egg. Kitty is. Hey! <laughs> it actually has a. I mean, a minute. Alright. Uh, I was so sad that we were gonna be. We're doing so fine. Eh, here, wah, twice. That's fine. I'll take it. Okay. Seven, that's not bad. And wow, we only have 18,000 Pokos left to get. Or, eight, not 18,000, 1,800 to get. That's kind of scary. Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way at all. But because I... Oh, well, now we got 80% of the debt recovered. Because for the final dungeon, before we pay off the debt, there was something I wanted to try then. How did you respawn? You should be dead. I was gonna try something else, but... I might have to see if I'm able to do what I plan to do for the final dungeon before the death, because we have to go through one dungeon before we finish the death. It's a given at this point. Anyway, ending the day... Zero. Okay, I knew we lost quite a bit of Pikmin. But hey. It was bound to happen at some point. And wow, look, look at these holy rocks. There's like six. Oh, my worst nightmare. Alright, how many did I lose? Dang, we did amazing. I had a ne I didn't lose any reds, what? Okay, I lost six. Eight in total. Fifty so far. Only more! You'll soon be promoted to manager! Only a small did a bit bit You've done great as well, as if I. No more dodge deck clippers like I do. I'm a pro I cannot talk as the president, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Day eight. But we have some stuff to go over. Uh sure, let's go through the Oh what? We completed our first series. We completed the gourmet series. These classic flavors will delight the sno snootiest gourmet. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Let's go down to Ooh, treasures. The dream material. This is yet another object I recently discovered that is beyond my wildest dreams. It doesn't collect electricity, and it can erase marks left by pencils with the... I thought it was... De <laughs> I'm such an idiot. 
For a sec, I thought it was deodorant. I forgot. It's an eraser. Sadly, the more you use it, the more it rubs away to oblivion. Huh, in a way, it reminds me of my job. Okay, that's funny. Why did I think it was deodorant? I thought... Okay, fine. Uh, let me see Louis' notes on this. For an unrivaled green curry, peel away its spotty ball bear skin, pulverize the juicy innards, and stew until curiously fragrant. Man, that was kind of lame, honestly. Uh, there we go. Giant bread bug. Oh yeah, it is in the bread bug family. Oh, I didn't mean to close it. This gargantuan species of the greater Gredba family has a torso so perfectly square that it almost seems like it was formed in a mold. For a brief period after birth, the giant breadbug completes for food with uh, smaller breadbugs. But upon researching maturity, it seeks out much larger prey. This is the primary reason that two species with similar feeding habits can coexist in the same habitat. Boards of Pikmin appear to pose the only plausible threat to this massive creature's life. And for Louis, although cooking this colossal beast yields a mountain of meat, every ounce of it is flavorous. Only suitable for intergalactic all-you-can-eat buffets. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. We did quite a bit. We went through an entire dungeon. Yeah. Basically, the last flight forward is at the Glen's Kitchen. So, next time let's play Pikmin 2. We're gonna go back to the Valley of Repose and do some more stuff in there, alright? I'll see you guys then.